Wow, are you ready for the word tonight? One more time, I want a loud answer. Okay, are you ready? Amen. Hallelujah, praise God. We'll go for Psalms 112 verses 1. Okay. You know what? I I'm so blessed seeing uh, Pamang, uh, what's this? Sharing the word of God here. Pamangin song ya ate ching pangai manena lung damamay. When we met him in Singapore many many years ago. Ah, kung tampil ay na Singapore laki mo hiyong Pamang. He is very quiet man. Ah, ama belau mitiat katie. Now I know Pamang. When you you are given the microphone, you never stop. My pekin me. Okay. So shall we read all together Psalms 112 verses 1 and 2? Kanalini na a kanungang na to Laytunga vang lian dinga alung sim tutang mite suan lehakte tupa kipedihi. Amen. Amen. Praise God. So when uh, when God gave me this verses, uh, I put a title. Ah, pasien hi kamalong piak siang ina ken dong tulu kat gua ni. The destiny of the righteous. Ah, mitu tang te i lam tom na cina gini. Do you do you want to know what will happen the next years? Ah, mai kum siang ina bang piak ni cina teh nuam hiya. Who wants to know? Gua teh nuam. Father, you see those hands, O Lord, and I pray, Father God, that in the name of Jesus, nothing can hold back your destiny for them and for their children. In the name of Jesus, Amen. Amen. Shall we give a clap offering to the Lord our God? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So, the first verse is. Those who fear the Lord, it says, "Blessed are those who fear the Lord, who find great delight in His commands." To ba sa takin at upiang na nuam asama ama mi tu pangahit. Who are these people who fear the Lord? That's my question. Pasiyan kita sa takte kuwate yah. Hallelujah. Okay, when we say we fear the Lord, it's not you just raise your hands and sing songs for the Lord. Pasian kita zat tak nasi perkut lam tu ina lasa ina lam keci tepoh hilawi. It's not coming to church alone. Ah, biakin payah waktu kau back home hilawi. Even if you are present every day here in the church. Ah, nisim nangon ina biakin atun den ke ina zong hilawi. But you don't obey the Lord, you don't have the fear of the Lord. Pasian ici bakam marsuma bang nazui ke ya le pasian azat tak lo kita lohi teh. I know this afternoon I shared about the fear of the Lord. When you say you have the fear of the Lord, number one is you follow God's word forever. When we read the word of God, it does not stay there, stop there. When we read the word of God, we follow and we obey the word of God. Number two, who are those people who fear the Lord? Those who decided not to live in sin. Mo na sung a nung talo ding siya akin tan mi pa minu. Can I see the hands of those who are who already decided not to commit sin? Mo na bol bol kay ni ngat siya ngin kud labo. Amen. Even my feet, I want to raise it up. Ah, kaya na ko ni ay dito ng waming. Because when we receive Jesus in our heart, Jesu ilung tang sung isan kita ngin. We decided to we we decided to live. 
not in sin. To live and follow the word of God. Amen. Amen. Okay, number three. Who are those people who fear the Lord? Those who decide to be transformed by the word of God. Is it easy to be transformed by the word of God? Is it easy? Who can raise up your hands? That is very easy. <laughs> I can I can see Sister I forget Dim. She she Dim. she she, she, do she do like this. It's true. This afternoon when I when I preach, I remember I I uh, mentioned when Peter asked Jesus, uh, how many times do I forgive? Seven times? This is in Matthew 18. But Jesus said, No, you will forgive 77 times. Wow. 77 times. 70 times 7. Yeah. Uh, seven, sorry, so, so, 70, 70 times. 490 times. Yes, 490. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Can you do that, Can you do that, Sister You know what? Even for husband and wife, it's very difficult sometimes. Uh -huh. You know me very well. Uh -huh. <laughs> So that's, <laughs> so that's why we need the Holy Spirit to, for us to live a righteous way. Now, when I meditate on this verse, the next verse, it speaks of the children. As mother and father, we have to model the word of God to our children. I always share this, Pastor. Many years ago, we go for overnight prayer meeting. I already have one child, Dorcas. Dorcas. Okay, she, she was still a baby that time. I always encourage the mother and the parents. I never regretted coming to church, bringing my baby with the crib. Why do I have to bring the crib? Because in the church there are also mothers who have babies. So it will not be an excuse. Oh, I'm sorry I cannot go for overnight because I have a baby. So you know what? Even my Dorcas is still a baby. She is already sharing her crib to other babies. So what I am sharing right now is reality. I'm, I'm so blessed seeing this church so many next generations. <laughs> Shall we, Shall we give it the Lord of God? Wow. Praise God. It's very, it's only a few years. They will be, they will grow, they will be in the youth group, and they will be single. 
and also get married. Eh, kung tom na usong ina ang kang ding, ina kang na usong ang kail ding, tuwad siya nung nung ang tangwal ding, in sila tang na ding na, ong pong ang kang bang siyaw din. Hallelujah! Amen! Hallelujah! Pastor Lin, you know what? You see all these children, they will grow and they will support this church. Eh, pasta nu, niyang, ya, ay, vekpi na namuhiya, ito ang kang tong nung ding, kansi tamang lang na kang tong ding, uy, amen! Amen! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! So the reason why the next verse is talking about the children because God wants us to model this word of God to the next generation. He kang chakte ay nungate pendel. He pasyan kamal ba nga inuntang na amaute laki niya. Hallelujah. Tuo to hil ding panta ding niya. Hallelujah. Praise God. It says the children will be mighty in the land. Tate pendel gamsunga mihat mitahat. Miliante suak di wuiji. When we started to walk on the word, pasian kamal bangin na ikal suan tak siang ina. Walking in the word is not only reading the word. Pasian kamal to ikal suan nung tai si siang ina simbek si na hilawi. Children teachers not only memorizing the verses. Ah tuat tepen bel hilai tak abaya tak mo lung sim suka koi siang be hilau lai. But we have to apply the word in our lives. Tuat pen ke adingi si na nun tak pi tak pi na gam tak hidi yang hilau. Amen. Amen. So here by this we are modeling the word of God to our children. Children. Itate tungahi pasyan kamalte ta inuntang na pen amalte. Remember this this afternoon I share about Esther. Esther katanu itu onggening. That she told my husband and I, can I give all my savings to the pastors? Ah, pasta te pen bil ka saving ako ng sumubukem pero te kapitay niya si na nule pate onggongi. And we ask her why? Why do you want to give all your savings to the pastors? Bangang anak pekenuamian si na baledot yung Well, she said, because I see you giving to the pastors, helping the pastors. And it works. What, what do I mean by it works? She said, when you give to the pastor, we'd never become poor. When the, you give to the kingdom of God, God bless us more. So I release the anointing of the Lord upon Amen. families, Praise upon families Lord. here in, Kuan, in City Harvest Nato, Mission Church. The anointing of prosperity in your life in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. You know what? For Amen. us to hear, 15 year, years old, Esther, telling us that. We are so happy. We will not see only from other children, but to your own children. I always say this, I never regretted to bring my, my ba the babies, when they are still babies, my children in the church. During those days, we don't have disposable diapers. You are blessed now. Who has babies here? Using diapers. Oh, disposable diapers. When, when the baby poo and pee, you just throw it. In the trash But before, I use cloth diapers. It's very messy. I bring home the wet diapers. Ah, tua ako, ah, topet torap. I have to wash. Ina, puai ina, ina aku sopa ive. But that's why you know to raise up a child now is very easier. It's easier, easier than before. Ah, tuh siang ina naung ngek don dan tele amau pata makai nakan suana pen baik so tam tam sama hi. But I never regretted. Ay song ina hilai takak biak ina kapai pi kata tesi mau kesi keng lagi. One more baby. Takak day lain cerai. One more. <laughs> 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 
Hallelujah. Amen, amen. Amen. You know what? The word of God should not remain letters only. He pasyan kamalisi pen alay bekina at hubekina om non kay tahe. As we apply it in our lives, we ourselves can share to our children. Our eldest daughter, Dorcas, Dorcas when she was still single, are there singles here? Single. Uh, single. Only me. Oh! Oh. 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 Only one. Yeah. <laughs> Over there. Okay. <laughs> Okay, when she was still single, uh -huh. she she was she is also a worship leader during that time. Amazing, to lie na panamakahi mo. Twenty-one years old, <laughs> she, <laughs> she went to America. Ah, apat siyang in America to study. Okay, and then uh, the, her husband to be Justin. Was living in Los Angeles. And my daughter is living in Daly City. That's so much far apart. But you know what? Because my daughter knows that she will be her husband already. So they have relationship long distance. But that doesn't stop her to share the word to, to Justin. Justin, you know what? Even in the phone, they do communion. And all those uh, our, uh, this, those time that she shared the word of God to Justin help Justin to grow also in the Lord. That's why when they get married they really have a very good uh, relationship. And as when they get married, Dorcas is debt free, no, no debt. But Justin has debt because of the grant in the government for the school. And for him, he's thinking, oh, maybe I will I can pay it for life. It's, it's like it's like uh, twenty five thousand dollars. <laughs> it's like twenty five thousand dollars. And so, uh, but when they met us, my husband, me and my husband. Okay, uh, that twenty five thousand dollars he was able to pay. For one and a half year only. Yes. And tonight, my husband will be preaching about how to get out of debt. Who wants that you get out of debt? Raise up your hands. I release the anointing of God Amen. as you obey the Lord. In the name of you Jesus. will get out of debt. That free anointing Jesus in Jesus' name. Amen. Wow. The word of God is just not words. It becomes reality. Pasyan kamalichi pendel at hule akamal beka omilo na atak takina nung tayo na hingkia. So as we model the word of God to our children, what happened? Our next generation, I have three children, Dorcas, Joshua, and Esther. Now they are all adults. But we are so happy, my husband and I. Because every effort that we have made to bring these children to the cross of Christ, it matters most. 
Jesu khazi adi ngina kata tengu lim taka kapata na upen tu apen ko adi ngina atupi pen pen ahi manina kisik vet lau yana lung damma me. Parents, everything that you are doing for your children to be in the church, God sees it. Abang bang hitan le nang lo bang teng nai yam tei lo na ta te o to hi a bia kin nong tun lim lim upen bang teng lo pi sak mo sup lo bang teng bai lo chi pasian in ong mugi ke hi. Some mothers ask me how can they how can they learn they they keep on moving around. Ah mi te nong dong te we nao bang te tai koi koi lo mo koi lai ta ka bia kin a bang sin pe uma di wang. Your children have the spirit. Na ta te on zong ka nei wei me. As we allow them to hear the word. Amau zong dia pasien kamal azak ni ngah menamu na ipai pi nak kalle. The word will be planted in their hearts. Tua pasien kamal pe alung tang sung bo ong kitu ni ngai. It doesn't matter if they are baby or maybe five years old, six years old. Doesn't matter. Na ngai kahi zong ina kum kat kum nici te zong ina kum toki sai lohi. Allow them to hear the word. Eh, pasien kamal azang na diyong na amal te. Amen. Amen. Wow, because as the word is being planted in their hearts, but the the word of God in verse two it says, they will be mighty in the land. Amal te lung tang sunga pasien kamal ong kitu kinle. Amal te suan lekak te lay tunga wang lian di ngaji. Mighty means they will do powerful things. Wang lian ding chi pen bela. Hallelujah. Tu lian le, tu golpi atau pipi tebik sem ni uci nai me. Amen. In the Philippines, maybe maybe same with the Myanmar people. Yeah. Kebab mai teh mo zong bi teh. Mothers always said to the children, Oh my child, we are only poor. Eh, katau eh zong mak mai yang. So what happened to the child? Even if if he or she wanted to be a doctor, he will not dream for it. Ah, tu abang ina genden ke mau le yang ata tanu tapai zong. Ama siawan suang nom katai le. Koi si aman tu angai sun na to hi teh mau dingin. Because the mother said we are only poor. Eh, zong mak mahi ang si den ke to atua tanu tapa siawan suang ding ngai sun ngam dingin. So how to model the word of God? Walk on the word of God. Every child that is here right now, and on the live streaming, I declare that they will excel in Jesus' name. They are full of wisdom in the name of Jesus. And those who are sick, I declare healing in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, they will excel and love the Lord with all their hearts, with all their soul, and with all their minds. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And the last one, it says, the generation of the upright will be blessed. I want. Okay. Sorry. Aching mite apeshezu azu mite suan lekakte tupaki peding hi chenia mangla enai biaki ge ma. I want to see. Ah, okay. So I want to see the hands of those who walk in the fear of God. Pasian kita zatang nato anung tate hut dunia nak munuami lam tau vo. Okay, praise the Lord, Hallelujah, Lord. You see the hands of these parents, these brothers and sisters who are wants to walk in the fear of God. Pasian kita zatang nato anung tak kalsuan nuam te. I declare that every parents that are here, every brothers and sisters. Will have the courage to walk on the word, no matter what is the situation. In Jesus' name, Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And your children will be happy children. When we say favor, when when we say bless. It means your children will be favored and happy. Ah, natate pendel lungdami na anuam at anuam sa tayo ng hindi ngi. Now Dorcas have is married already with Justin. Justin to katanu Dorcas kita ng kintahi. They have two kids. Amal tat pa katle tanu ni. Hadasa and Levi. Ah, toilet wahi. 
<laughs> What's that? <laughs> so what happened, you know, I'm so happy, I think two weeks ago or three weeks ago, an assignment from the school. There is a, like an essay, what is your dream? What is the dream? And she wrote there in the, in the paper, I dream when I grow up, I want to be a pastor. So that people will hear the word of God. She is an eight-year-old girl. And I'm declaring tonight. Every family represented here in this place. Can you please stand up? Stand up. Let's all stand up. Hallelujah. I release the anointing of God upon you. Upon the parents. Upon the children. And I call money from the east, west, north, and south of the globe. To come upon your bank accounts in the name. You will experience the word of God. And your children will prosper. The family is favored in the name of Jesus. And everybody say, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah.